So if you're doing those long notes, you might want more drive to have, have a bit more sustain. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I've just updated my Line 6 Helix, uh, the big one, to the latest firmware update, which is 3.1. And I wanted to just check out the Mandarin Rocker, which is a amp model, an amp model of the Orange Rocker Verb 100 Mark III. So let's go. By the way, if you like this content, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Same with any other videos you might see. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I would also appreciate subscribing if you feel like it. I'm trying to reach my first 1,000 subscribers, my first milestone, and I would be very much appreciative if you would subscribe and help me get there. Anyway, back to the video. So as you can see on the Helix here, I've got a new preset. There's nothing on it at the moment. So let's start by adding the Mandarin, the Mandarin Rocker. So let's move this along. I like to move this to around about here. Amps. It's got amp and cab. So I'm not going to put any IRs here. I'm just going to use this, whatever they got in stock. There we go, Mandarin Rocker. So there's a Mandarin 80 there, which I think is a previous uh, orange amp that they've done. So let's put Mandarin Rocker. All right, there we go. There's our amp. Our amp and cab and nothing else. Uh, this is what it sounds like. Actually, before I put that on, this is our clean sound or our, our dry sound, completely dry. Just the sound of the guitar. <laughs> So very sterile, nothing there, no reverb, none of that. Let's turn this on. Here's what the Mandarin Rocker sounds straight out of the box. Okay, so it sounds very rock. What I'm going to do first, actually, it's actually what I normally do with most uh, pack, uh, presets that I make. I'm going to, first of all, go to the end here and, the, and allow it to go through the second uh, line as well. We want path oh, path 2A. There we go. So that's now one line going across there. Uh, so we've got double the processing power. You, you may not need it, but if you want it, you've got it. And uh, towards the end, I'm going to put a reverb just to make it sound a bit nicer. I've been getting into uh, room reverbs recently. So I'm going to go to Legacy in case we want to do it in, in stereo. Uh, room reverb. There we go. And I usually cut the mix down to 34 and then that's pretty much it. So there should be a bit of reverb here as well. Can you hear that? All right, let's have a play with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building some snapshots at the bottom, which is what I normally do when I play with a new uh, amp model on the Helix. So we're going to start with something kind of clean-ish. So I usually go clean, you know, as clean as I, uh, very clean as much as I, as I can, depending on the amp. Something slightly more overdriven, maybe along the lines of like an edge of breakup. Something a bit more gainy, like a crunch sound, you know, distorted sound, and maybe something for the solo at the end. And may add some effects along the way, but let's start dealing with the amp on its own. So snapshot one, we're going to try and go for a clean sound. So obvious thing here is to turn the drive down. I'm actually going to go across first and just have a look at the... Oh, the master. Sorry, this is on the first page. Looks like the uh, Mandarin Rocker has drive, bass, middle, treble, and master. And the channel volume is just how loud you want the, the preset to be. So we'll leave that all as it is at the moment. And let's t I was thinking about turning the master down. And the effect of that is that it you're not cooking the power amp tubes, the virtual power amp tubes as much, and it kind of brings the gain down a bit. So let's just go to stretch drive. It's not actually too high. I mean, maybe that might do something, but let's go to drive. Let's turn that down to maybe uh, 2.8. Here we go. So that's still quite driven. That'll be a nice that'll be nice for snapshot two, which is gonna be more like edge of breakup kind of sound. Let's turn the drive down even more. Yeah, it's starting to sound a little bit quiet now as well. And if I turn the master up, it might give it might add more gain in, but let's try it. Mm, not not too bad actually. I think because it's meant to be a hundred watt amp, so you you have got more headroom. So you really have to turn the master up to really get those uh, power amp tubes to start cooking. Let's go seven point three. All right, so that's kind of sounding quite good for a clean sound. 
So let's remember this, drive at 1.7, master at 7.3. Let's hope, hope I can remember that. If you wanted to go back to the stock setting of say drive and, and in this case master as well, you can just press the button and it goes back to where it started. So it's five. Uh, master was five as well, I believe. Yeah. All right, so we want our drive, what was it, 1.7? That was a bit quiet, so we want the master on 7.3, I think it was. So I'm going to hold it down and then turn it. There we go. So we're in snapshot mode, 7.3. We can change these later on. And that'll be per snapshot. That'll be for snapshot one, which we're kind of in at the moment, which you are in at the moment. So here we go. Here's our clean sound. Bridge pickup. Okay, I like that. Snapshot two, let's try that. And so normally what I'd do here is I'd save, but I'm gonna just do that later on. Or maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should save it now. You know what, let's save it now in case something goes horribly wrong and I've got to reshoot some of this. Let's just call it Rock of Verb 100. So I'll fast, through the, fast forward through all this. And save. Let's also label this snapshot here as well. Let's go to snapshot two. Okay, so snapshot two is currently the same as snapshot one. So we are going to turn these back to uh, the default settings. I remember we had we found out that drive that wall was it what? No, oh, no, it's two point something. Let's just try. It. So we're going to go for a slightly edge of breakup sound, a pushed sound. <laughs> That's quite nice, I like that. Uh, and let's, go, let's compare it to clean, the clean sound. I'm looking for a volume difference. I think that's okay, actually. Okay, that's not too bad for uh, our second snapshot. Let's rename that. All right, back and save. Let's move on to snapshot three, where we have, let's go back to the amp as well, where we're gonna have a, like a proper, get, you know, full on distortion sound. So we can go back to stock. That's pretty good as it is actually. So see that's remembered. The snapshot has remembered what we set it to earlier on, so you've got to make sure you save it regularly. In fact, let's do it now, just because. Now for this, I might want to scoop the mids a little bit, so I am going to go into preset mode here. Let's turn that down. A little bit rumbly in the bass, and when I get down to those low notes, I'm gonna turn the bass down a bit. I'm gonna bring those mids down a bit. That might be good for lead actually to turn that turn the mids up a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the drive down a bit as well. Kind of it just kind of makes it a bit tidier. That bass door seems a little bit boomy. Let's turn it down even more. Yeah, so I've turned the drive up a bit. It's I think it's okay that it's not too untidy and unkempt. Yeah.
All right, so we'll call that crunch. Let's do a level check. So here's our crunch sound. Pushed. Clean. So it sounds like the crunch is a lot louder than the other ones. Right, so this is where the channel volume comes in. So I kind of like the tone as it is at the moment. So I've got my master set at five, but I don't, so I don't want to change anything tonally. So if I check, if I turn the master down, it might change the amount of gain that I've got on my on my sound. So I'm going to use the channel volume to compensate for that. That just brings the, the whole snapshot volume down. So let's do that snapshot mode. In fact, hold on, let's get the sound first. <laughs> So that's too quiet at the moment. So it looks like I've only gone down from 6.8 to 6.6, .6, which isn't actually that much, but it seems to make a whole lot of difference though. But in my ears at the moment, that sounds kind of okay. Right, let's go to, let's do our solo channel. So we're on snapshot four. So for a solo channel, you tend to want maybe more mids, maybe more drive and then maybe more volume. And I might even change the master volume for that because you want it to be a bit louder. So depending how, I might do that last because I'm gonna get the EQ right and then adjust the volume to, to taste afterwards. Start at the mid. I like that already, that's uh, quite thick in my to my ears. even on these high notes. Yeah, that's sounding quite good. Might turn the trap up a little bit to kind of, just to brine up a little bit. Maybe turn the bass down a bit more. I like that, I like the thickness of it. So I might need to just make the solo channel a bit louder. So here's my rhythm channel. I think the drive is currently the same. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn up the master to make it louder and it might even add more gain as well from the uh, the virtual preamp section. So let's try, let's go up to six. That's already louder. So six, going from five to six was a bit much. Let's try five, it's 5.5. Yeah, maybe something like that, that might work. I might even add more drive. So snapshot four, let's add a bit more drive. So if you're doing those long notes, you might want more drive to have, have a bit more sustain. Yeah, 
I could do with a bit of delay, actually, doing that. Or maybe even a bigger reverb. Right, let's label this. And save. Bear in mind, it's currently on the solo preset um, snapshot. If I save it there, when I go back to it, it will start on the solo preset, on the solo snapshot. So if I go to this one here, the good days uh, preset, which uh, if you want to see the video on that, click on the uh, pop out thing above to learn how to play a modern pop song. Um, right, and then if I go back to uh, the rock of verb 100, it will it will default to the solo preset. Even if I change it to clean, let's go back down again. So I just came out of the other preset on the clean channel. If I go back to it, it will go to the solo channel because that's where I saved it. So I want to start clean, save that again. So next time it will go back to the clean channel. So let's let's have a little um, play through some of these snapshots. Then here's my clean. Pushed. Crunchy rhythm sound. Well, I just adjusted it a bit. Save it. Go back to clean. All right, crunch. And our solo sound, which we should find to be a bit louder. So I've just set up my preset for the Mandarin Rocker, the Line 6 amp model of the Orange Rocker Verb 100 Mark III. I haven't had any, any effects except for that reverb, just to kind of give it a in-the-room kind of sound so it doesn't sound too sterile. I could go on, and I may well go on to add some effects. Uh, I just wanted to kind of keep it just all within the amp at first, and then, you know, once, once you've got a good amp sound you've got a good basis to start adding effects around it if you want to uh but at the, at the least at the very least you've got a four channel amplifier now i think this is only a one channel at least you only get one channel when you when you load this amplifier uh but now we have uh we've turned it into a four channel amplifier kind of which is something you can do with the, the helix and other modelers <laughs> So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing so I can reach my first 1,000 subscribers. Uh, let's do a few more of these. I've got some already in the, on the channel, so check those out as well. And I will see you in the next video.